Learn the three most common causes for a bad relationship so that you can have a great relationship. Hey everyone, Noah Hammond back with some more video advice for you. Today we're going to be talking about bad relationships and one of the three most common causes of our bad relationships. Number one, coaching. So often in our relationships, we feel that it is our job to coach, to fix, to assist, to tell someone how to live. We feel it's our job to change them. And this is one of the most common and most fatal things you can do to your relationship. I've learned this the hard way, my friends. As a coach, of course, I want to see the best for my lovers and the best for my people that I'm in relationship with. And, and I had to learn it the hard way that coaching inside your relationship simply does not work. And that goes for your friends and your family as well. Do not coach the people that are around you even if videos like this one and all the other ones that you're probably watching are taking your consciousness higher, do not coach people. If they ask questions, support them. But do not take it upon yourself to consciously coach people because as I've learned the hard way, it will inevitably corrupt your relationship with these strange dynamics. Like, are we coaching right now or are we just loving each other? Like. Are, are we okay with each other or are you trying to fix me? There's this weird murkiness that happens. And so you just have to make a commitment to allow them to get the support they need and, and to love them unconditionally regardless of things you might notice or things you might have a desire to fix. It simply won't serve you. Now, the second way that we destroy our relationships is with money. You see, if there's a foundational need for money below love, then the love cannot flourish. Love and intimacy on, if you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, is a higher order need than money, which in our society actually equates to the basic needs of food, water, clothing, shelter, right? Basic needs are more important than love and intimacy. So if you're having trouble getting enough money, being financially secure, your relationship is going to fail if you try to lay that relationship on top of a lack of basic resources. Now, this is something that I've also experienced firsthand, and here's what happens. You're struggling for money, or you, you recognize there's a lack of money, yet you take the time anyway to go and hang out in the happy love bubble with your relationship. But while you're hanging out in the happy love bubble, there's this internal program running that says, dude, you need money. Or, hey, Chica, you don't have enough money in the bank. You don't, what if you don't have food tomorrow? What if you don't have drink? What if you can't pay your bills? Blah, 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 right? But you spend your time ignoring it in the happy love bubble. And over time, what happens is there's this, there's this incongruence. There's this incongruence with what your needs are and what the actions you're taking are. And eventually that will come through in either a lack of presence in the moment, you won't actually be present to your relationship, or you might take out those feelings of incongruence on them, not recognizing that you are the one who's making the choice to not handle your needs first and enjoy your love second. So you'll end up being mad at them, being angry, being frustrated, but that's only because you are the person who is, who is not paying attention to what really needs to be paid attention to. So money is another huge underminer of relationships and will cause your next bad relationship. Now the third cause of a bad relationship that we're going to talk about today is boredom. Really what I mean is stagnation or lack of progress. A lot of people unfortunately think that the relationship is their life goal. It's like, man, if I could just get that awesome husband or if I could just get that hot wife, then I've, I've met it, you know, I've made it. My life is looking good. But 
Your relationship can never be the focus of your life because your focus of your life is really internal. It's about becoming your greatest self. Now that can happen inside relationship, but often what happens is people get into relationship and stop growing, stop developing. So this is the third cause because a lot of people come together and their progress stops. And what do they see looking back at them in the mirror or in, in everyday life is, is their partner. And they say, my life slowed down because of you. My life stopped because of you. This is happening because of you. You came into my life. Everything was going great. You came into my life and now things are going crappy. <laughs> right? So this is what happens is if you just don't keep an attention on the necessity of your own personal growth as well as your partner's, the relationship will stagnate and you'll eventually have a bad relationship. So just to have a quick review, the three most common causes of a bad relationship are coaching, changing, or trying to fix each other, a lack of money, and not paying attention to what the needs are in your own life that truly need to be met, and a lack of progress. Not staying focused on your own relentless growth and self-discovery. So I hope that brings an awareness and helps you avoid any pitfalls you might have in your current relationship or in your next relationship. If you are a man who is looking to develop incredible relationships with women and also find success in all areas of your life, I suggest you go check out the True Man Academy where we have a free training teaching you a system to unlock your greatest potential. And as always, everybody, please comment below the video. Please like it if you liked it. Please share it out in the interwebs. Please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon.